वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम तोनो आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री एंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूएशन लेक्चर ऑफ बार्च प्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट पार्ट आई हैव अपलोडेड व्हिच इज डिस्क्राइबिंग अबाउट द बेसिक बेसिक रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ बार्च प्रोडक्शन एंड रिएक्टिविटी ऑफ एल्किल सब्स्टिट्यूटेड बेंजीन मोइटी सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनेटिंग ग्रुप अटैच्ड एराइल मोइटी सो लेट्स गो सो First day, I forget to give one example. That is, what is the effect of silicon attachment? I have example explained about methyl. Silicon actually analogous to carbon. That's why it will show similar property like carbon, and it will provide the similar reaction mechanism like carbon. Okay, okay. So after silicon, now we will migrate the to the oxygen continuum. Okay, so if we look at oxygen containing ethers properly, we can see that it ha oxygen has two effects. One is minus I, another is plus I. Okay, and that is the driving force. Due to plus R effect, oxygen increases electron density in the ortho. It is true, ortho and pair. But its minus I effect occurs on this ortho position only. Okay, consequently. There are two charges. After electron addition to this uh, anisole derivative phenyl ether, it can the negative charge can be here or here. Means ortho para if substitution possible. And another charge is meta substitution. So this. Means if I write properly, it must be like this. This is O R. Okay, so it must be like this. Must be like that. Which will form? First of all, if you see the electron density is in ortho or it means if so or para position. This is like if so. So if so or para position. If so will have a tremendous electron electron repulsion between the lone pair of oxygen versus the carbon ion generated here. If the carbon, so that will be unstable. So initial stage you can consider instead of generating carbon ion here, it may be radical here carbon ion. Okay, fine, no problem. After protonation there will be carbon ion generation here. So that will be unstable due to this lone pair lone pair repulsion. So this is not a good idea. Instead of that, if we consider this is here no lone pair means first anion here that is protonated radical here and secondly it converted into the anion. Second stage. So Here there is no repulsion, no pair, no pair repulsion. But oxygen has a minus I effect, which can operate at this position I told. So here the substitution will occur. First substitution here, second is here, and actually that is happening in case of anisole derivative. But actually uh, and similarly, if we consider, so similarly this pair. Uh, substituted means this one, this paratertiary group, alkyl group, it will show all similar observation like this and this. Okay, because here only option we have understood that oxygen has a bigger effect means plus R and minus I. So both indicate this position. Okay, and if suppose consider let this position instead of that the another one. What do I mean? Here both are same, so no problem. This can happen, this can happen, symmetry. But confusion will come in case of this. You see, here substitution there, and it is not symmetrical. Question: Where the negative charge will go? There is a chance that it can come here or it can come here. So, question is: If negative charge come here, then that side should be hydrogenation. Hydrogenation will occur at that side. Okay, so if that side hydrogenation occur, that is difficult because the negative charge is here where methyl group is attached. So stabilization is less compared to if this side occurs. Means if here hydrogen means protonation occur means negative charge generated means here generated here. So that that side this unstabilization factor due to the methyl group actually not here. What do I mean? I explain again. So, if we consider this and this, this and this, 
then first uh, protonation will ha happen here after carbonyl formation the carbonyl will not be stable here so this and if we consider this versus this here that unstability factor is not that much okay and stabilization of these and this both by minus i possible so protonation means reduction will occur at this and this that's why we get exclusively this product okay please keep this factor in mind because this is very unique thing because you can see this is an activated double bond and this is relatively less activated double bond so depending upon the choice of proper reagent it could be functional isomer different for example epoxidation epoxidation other uh, epoxidation like using oxygen diol formation etc many reaction could be done and secondly this group this group could be hydrolyzed could be hydrolyzed into corresponding uh, enol what do i say this is enol using dilute acid dilute acid it could be converted and it will instantly undergo tautomerization to prepare this and another thing it prepare the keto and you see this is alpha this is beta okay and this is gamma so we know that alpha beta unsaturation is very easy to prepare using alcohol condensation using syn elimination okay possible but beta gamma is difficult because here is one center which is alpha to carbonyl and second that after that one double bond is there so susceptible to rearrangement and actually that happened if the acid concentration increases means for example if we use oxalic acid we will have this but if we use dilute acl then it will rearrange to produce this alpha beta unsaturated product so this is the uniqueness of this method okay so and this it actually this method is mainly dependent on the acid strength but there is some confusion that okay i have added oxalic acid or that there may be some confusion that okay it may have some side reaction means some maybe that enol means keto uh, beta gamma unsaturated carbonyl is the major product but there should be some rearrangement product along with that that some chances are there and that thing could be avoided by using silicon protection means otbs actually what does this otbs look like otbs is a silicon ethyl protection means dimethyl tertiary butyl silane so this is actually otbs okay and this otbs along with oxygen this protection is there and this protection could be broken using fluoride anion because we know fluoride has a more tendency or more hard center compared to oxygen so it can attack here and oxygen can leave that's possible that is the strategy here similar like oh it's an ether so same procedure it produces this this the these and this carbon reduction and in presence of tbf selectively this ether cleaves to produce the corresponding enol and that enol undergo tautomerization to produce this carbonyl keeping this bond intact no chances of uh, isomerization because actually no acid is there this is anion controlled tautomerization okay fine so till now we have observed that phenol derivatives could selectively be reduced in present in using this barch reduction that is sodium liquid ammonia lithium liquid ammonia okay fine now the question appears is it possible to reduce phenol directly we are always considering about phenol ether means this ome or or so is it possible to directly use phenol Or phenol derivative actually possible, but what happens in presence of this strong alkaline condition in sodium, uh, in presence of in presence of ammonia, what it produces? It produces phenoxide. And we have I have explained in my previous video that electron goes to the LUMO, that extra electron goes to the LUMO for the reduction. When an electron rich oxygen is attached, and it is no longer have any minus I. effect so actually it has a plus r effect and very strong plus r effect so it is very difficult because it's electron rich so giving electron or it is difficult and that is the reason that reduction of such type of thing require excess amount of lithium excess amount of lithium and ultimately it produces this double bond 
with O with actually O minus and after work up this O minus getting protonated to prepare the anode which undergo protomerization to produce this keto carbonyl group. Okay, fine. So this is the thing about phenol. But if we extend this idea to one unit, one step more, that is naphthol. What is? So if you can see this naphthol derivative, if we use this, then if it this ring want to undergo, since I have told that since it electron is difficult, I agree. But if it also want to undergo, what will happen? Position will be this versus this. Here, not possible because of this ring. Then another possibility is that this is little electron less, little less electron rich in nature. So this would be reduced, and that is happens. Okay, but if we take beta naphthoxide means this one, then the reduction possible at this and this, and that is happens. Now you may ask the question. If I compare benzene versus, uh, if I compare this benzene versus, for example, this anisole derivative, which is more reactive? Actually, this donates electron. It's true. It donates electrons. Electron rich. So if it is electron rich, then the chance is that it is reluctant to take electrons during the dissolving metal reduction. But along with its electron donation. There is another property which I explained that is minus ion. We know that oxygen is minus ion at neutral stage means no cationic charge is there. That time minus ion is more dominant compared to the plus ion. Consequently, this reaction re reactivity of this is slightly more. Remember, slightly more than this. So this phenolic ethers are slightly more reactive compared to benzene. Consequently, reaction happens here. Previously, the main reason for not having reaction in this ring is one is the electron region, second is this position. But here, position is available, so reduction will happen at this position because the carbon ion will be generated here will be stabilized by this minus i effect of oxygen. Although that possibility is not available at this position. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's discuss a complicated cholesterol type moiety reduction using Bach reaction. So, this is a complicated molecule in the blood substitute center, and this reaction proves the selectivity. The selectivity of Bach reduction, and second, the reagent of subsequent reagent to get selectively a particular product. Okay, so let's see. In presence of lithium liquid ammonia, that is that electrolytic metal. This moiety you can consider in previous examples I have explained this phenol ether means anisole derivatives. This is like that. So what is expected that these and these will reduce means reduction will happen these and this. So that happens. Okay. And now the question is what will happen in terms of different acid? If we take aqueous HCl, which is relatively strong acid, that first hydrolyzes this. And second, isomerizes this because after the formation of keto, these undergo enolization, and in this way, this double bond isomerized to product more stable. This is more stable alpha beta unsaturated. Okay, but if the cat acid is little weak, like oxalic acid, only this part means this enolyther hydrolysis occurs, and it forms keto, and the double bond remains intact. So this example clearly suggests that depending on the reagent reaction condition as well as reagent, Bach reduction can produce exclusively a particular product, keeping the other stereoisomers almost intact. Okay, here even a new stereoisomer is generated. So please keep this factor in mind. Okay, let's discuss another two examples about this Bach reduction. We know that this anisole reduces this. Uh, this uh, anisole is getting reduced using sodium liquid ammonia to produce this. Means one sp3. So is it really possible to prepare this conjugated diene? But one thing we need to keep it in mind that during reduction condition diene cannot survive it under the reduction to prepare monoene. But after reaction, is it possible to convert uh, this into this? Actually possible. So as a workup, if this workup is done 
in presence of anhydrous acid okay then this isomerization possible how anhydrous acid means it will produce acid uh, and non nucleophilic non basic type conjugated base for example you can consider that hso4 minus like that anhydrous or any other another so it will not act means that conjugate base b minus will not act okay so what happens this proportion is getting protonated fine if it getting protonated positive charge is getting so this carbon this proton is abstracted and another thing consequently this bond comes here here protonation so proton comes and add here so ultimately in this way this reaction happens so this is a way that in at the end state in presence of anhydrous acid this di e formation is possible okay and actually in fact around 20% of this product is produced during the reaction of this also which is it also happens but instead of that like ome it's a oxygen derivative if we take the nitrogen derivative nme to attach with this benzene ring actually the reaction continues and it end up at this position means it is impossible to arrest this in this type of intermediate so this is the two difference example please keep it in mind because in exam it could be given that what would be the product this and you think simple bar chart of this so you may end up but keep it in mind in case of any solid this produce in case of dialkyl aniline this is produce so this is the end of my discussion so and in next uh, video i shall discuss about the electron withdrawing group effect and bar chart action so if you like my teaching please give a like and share this video among your friends such that many people could be benefited from my effort and finally please subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every new single video i upload so see you in my next video